Okay, when you get to the cat show, this is what your cage is going to, your benching area is going to look like. You're going to have your cage num empty cage and your cage number. So take your cage number out of there and uh, get ready to set up your curtains. If you're a short person, a tall person, you can probably set your curtain liner up that way while, while the cage is up there. But if you're short like me, you have to do it on the floor. So once you get your cage down, you go ahead and put your skirt bottom on the cage. On the table, actually. And this skirt is a little bit longer, uh, shorter than what I normally make. This is a set that I made out of some scrap fabrics. Okay, you may have to sit something heavy in there to hold it before you get that in there. So you don't have that slid back. See what I'm saying? You put something in there heavy to hold it in place. But my husband's not going to do that. He always has to do things his way. So we get into an argument. Uh, but we won't for this video. We'll just, I'll just let him do his thing. Okay. <laughs> so moving along here. He's a little bit slow. Okay. But you would do a little better job than that. Then you lift the top up. And you're going to put the inside liner in. Now this is a liner, like I said, this is a set that I made with some different scrap pieces of fabric. So it's got a two-sided liner. So you can, on this one you can turn it any, any way you want. The stripe or the tiny calico print for your background. And some sets I will make with a split if you want to use the divider in your cage, which most people don't use a divider unless they're having the trouble with a cat or something like this and they need to separate them. But uh, it's no trouble to add a divider to any of these liners. If you want that and want to request it, uh, it's no problem to do that at all. I should automatically do it, but I just don't ever think about it. And you don't have to get it, that top, very top up there is not going to show anyway. So if you got a little bit of the other liner hanging down, it's not going to matter. Just kind of get it looking halfway decent on the inside. And you want it down long enough to give your cat some privacy and protect from other cats in the show hall swatting at each other. Okay, then you flip your lid over, and like I said, if you're too short, uh, too tall, not, not, <laughs> if you're short, you do that with the cage on the bottom. And then there's a clamp right there at the front of the cage. I like to go ahead and clamp the top of that, pull that up, but I usually wait until after the topper's on it, but either way will work. Then you put your topper on, kind of even it up, and right there at the back in the middle is where I was saying if you wanted to clamp that clamp, you could. Those binder clips come in handy for different things. I usually hang mine down a little bit prettier than that, but uh, down a little bit on each, uh, come down on the other side a little bit more. And then fix it kind of pretty. And then when you get another cage beside you, they're going to kind of squish together. 
Then you put your litter pan cover in. And your bed. And then you put your cat in. Where's the cat? Yeah, and you put your number up there and 